What's up, audio nerds? Welcome to the Audio Hotline, the channel where I review audio gear for beginners, professionals, and everyone in between. Today we have a brand new microphone in the studio, just released. It is the Blue Ember. This microphone will run you about $100 on Amazon, Sweetwater, Guitar Center, anywhere you could possibly buy it. Some of you may know this, I'm not the biggest fan of the Blue Yeti. I do think it is a solid microphone, I just think it's slightly overrated. But I am a fan of Blue, the company in general. I think what they do is pretty cool, they're pretty unique in their own right. So needless to say, I was really excited to get this as soon as possible and try it out for you guys. Today I'm recording the Blue Ember with my Zoom H5 with the gain set at about 50%. Since this is a condenser microphone, I recommend using a pop filter. I will be using the Stedman Pro pop filter in this review a few times, but I of course will give you examples of what it sounds like without a pop filter like I have been right now. My first impressions of this microphone is that it is built extremely well, like the build quality is incredible on this thing. It is really nice. This grill is super strong, and honestly just the whole thing is built really incredible. And I mean, this isn't the most important thing, but I mean, you gotta mention it. I do think it looks really awesome. I love the color scheme of it. It looks sexy. If I'm gonna be honest, it looks sexy. When you purchase the Blue Ember, you will get the microphone stand mount, which is built really well. It actually has an insanely nice thumb screw that sticks out a little bit more. It doesn't cut your finger up like a lot of other ones do. You will get a microphone stand adapter, and you will get the super sexy Blue Ember microphone. Now that we've gone through some of the basics of this microphone, let's go ahead and move on to the specs. Any specs that I do not mention will be on the screen for you to read. There are some specs that I was having a little bit of a hard time trying to find online. I'm sure that as more stuff comes out about this new microphone, there will be a frequency chart that comes out. I could not find one, though. I searched high and low. Couldn't find it. Couldn't, couldn't find it. The Blue Ember is a condenser microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. This microphone does require 48 volts of phantom power. It has a frequency response of 38 hertz to 20 kilohertz and an output impedance of 40 ohms. This microphone has a max SPL of 132 decibels. One other thing to have to do with the build and kind of specs and everything is the actual form factor. I'm surprised at how skinny it is. But just as a reference, here is the Rode NT1A, which I would consider a pretty average sized condenser microphone. It's somewhere in the middle of the pack there. It's pretty, pretty normal size. But here is the Rode NT1A right next to the Blue Ember. This is decently bigger than the Blue Ember, but even crazier, check this out. Here is the side of the Blue Ember compared to the side of the Rode NT1A. This thing is thin. But any users, now that we've went over the overview and the specs, let's go ahead and test this microphone out. If you're sick of living that Tinder life and you just want to hold something close to you, so you grab your blue ember and talk into it so sensually, here's how it's gonna sound. And while you're cuddling your blue ember, you decide to turn on a rom-com, grab a blankie, and whisper sweet nothings into its ear, here's how it's gonna sound. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. When you talk into the front of the blue ember, here's how it sounds. When you talk into the side of the blue ember, here's how it sounds. When you talk into the back of the blue ember, here's how it sounds. And if you're one of them there YouTube gamers, here's how it's gonna sound with your super clicky keyboard. This is a Razer green switch keyboard, like the Razer Elite. I, I don't know stuff at all. I don't know things. And if you're just one of those regular Joe Schmoes that uses an Apple keyboard or a PC keyboard for music production or podcasting stuff while you're looking it up, here's how it sounds on the background noise rejection. And I've been hitting both of these keyboards real good and hard. And if you're a YouTuber that doesn't like the microphone in the camera shot, or you just want a little distance in between you and your microphone, Here's how it could sound about three feet away. If you intend on using the Blue Ember for podcasting or voiceover or anything where you want a little post-processing on it, here's how this microphone could sound with a little bit of EQ, compression, some DSing, and usually that's about all I put on it. Do 
Now that we've gone through the overview, the specs, and the testing, let's go ahead and get to my review of the Blue Ember. If you've never watched the audio hotline before, on here I give letter grades to each piece of gear that I try out. That grade is based off of two things, the quality for the price. So essentially I will give a microphone or a piece of gear an A plus if the quality far exceeds the price you paid. I'm like trying to sit here and think about some pros and cons, but truthfully, there's just not much I don't like about this microphone. I mean, yeah, there's some plosive issues if you look directly at the capsule and push out a P like really hardcore, but other than that, if you just speak a little to the side, just on an angle, it kind of takes care of it. We got a visitor. So fluffy. I'm just going to keep going with it. If you don't like my face, you got to like that one. Oh my gosh. Look at that guy. He's majestic. I do think the bass is slightly boosted in this, but I think it sounds good. The build quality is incredible. One thing that I have noticed when I was testing this out is as I would move a little bit, it would still do a really good job of capturing my voice. I mean, once you get really to the side, like obviously you can hear a drop off, but I mean, overall, you could put this thing down a little bit further, get it out of your face if you're shooting a video or anything and it'll still sound really awesome. There's definitely a little bit of a bass boost when you get really close to it that does actually sound good, and when you're speaking off of it, getting rid of some of those plosives, this can sound really awesome for voiceover or podcast style stuff that's a little bit more intimate. I do think the background noise rejection is solid, especially for a condenser microphone. One thing that kind of bugs me is that they didn't include a couple specs that I would have really liked to know. I couldn't find it in the manual and I also couldn't find it online. I couldn't find a frequency response chart, which I would have been really interested to see what frequencies are boosted in this because I can tell that there are a couple boosted, but I mean, they do sound good. And also I wish that it would had a DBA spec. It kind of bugs me that I don't know the exact perceived noise level of this microphone. Usually I have like some pretty solid cons for microphones, but I just don't really have it for this. Like I think that the $100 price tag for this microphone is really good. I mean, some other accessories would have been nice, but once again, it's a $100 microphone and it sounds this good, so I can't fault it for not having other accessories. Shit, man, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm... I'm well, I mean, since I've just completely drooled over this microphone for the last little bit, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my letter grade for the Blue Ember. I give the Blue Ember a letter grade of an A+. Plus. I do plan on doing some other comparisons with this microphone, and if you have any suggestions for microphones that you would like to be compared to this, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and I'll definitely see what I can do. Thanks for watching this review of the Blue Ember. I hope it helped you out, help you decide whether you want this microphone or not. And also, I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews. There's a lot more coming out, and there's also going to be another brand new microphone review coming up. Uh, I'm just going to throw it out there, the Rode Pod Mic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you. Rode Pod Mic. Just said it. Thanks for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you all next time. Air guns.